Welcome to Dirty Physics, Mechanical Properties of Fluids. Fluids plays a very important role in our daily life. Hence, studying the properties of fluids is very important. In order to study these properties of fluids, first we need to know what is meant by these fluids. Fluids are defined as the substances which have ability to float. These are called as fluids. If you take I mean, examples, liquids, gases. And the basic difference between fluids and solids is, if you take here fluids and solids, so the basic differences are, fluids, they don't have definite shape. They don't have definite shape when it comes to solids they will have different shape right have shape and it's about densities also if you take about uh, fluids densities like liquid yeah. gases these two comes under fluids right solids so if you take about densities so liquid density will be like this somewhat spacious like this density means molecular structure here like this and about here uh, gases it is very very huge you can see here the molecules are very very spacious and what about the solids solids densities are very very closely attached you already know about this thing this is the density and the importance of fluids so why we have to study these fluids? What is the real life applications of, of uh, studying these fluids like this? So studying properties of fluids gives the knowledge of understanding so many concepts like uh, flotation. You know how objects will float on water like a small piece of iron can sink in water while a, a huge amount of ship is floating on water. These kind of things in the same way hydraulics. hydraulics and in the same way the property the speed of uh, water when, when it's flowing on a pipes you know like uh, a speed of um, Bernoulli's principle will this like this this kind of so many examples are so many real life uh, phenomena we can uh, able to understand by studying these properties of fluids this is the introduction and we will start the session in the next class thank you